and you worked in um, consulting and public accounting before that as well. Mm -hmm. And so um, you you had a you had a pretty good run working primarily as an outside advisor, and then. Um, uh, recently, you have been, you know, we've been talking about your role kind of working very closely as the CFO for True Terpenes. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, that, that must have been somewhat of a shift going from being the outside advisor to really working inside the company. Mm -hmm. um, tell, tell us about that. Tell us about that, that shift, that change, what, what you find is different. Well, I think one of the big things about having working as an advisor that's outside versus inside the company is an outside the company you know they both have pros and cons outside the company what ends up happening is that you typically have more than one client right you have a book a portfolio of clients well one of them is that you get to see a lot of different interesting things through different companies but once you're actually within a company what you see is one more a singular pathway for the company itself. Um, I would say that the main difference that you have is that in a firm, unless you own the firm yourself, the person that you're answering to is the leader of the firm. So, you know, that's that's who we'd be talking to. Uh, you wouldn't be who I was talking to if I was part of, you know, if working on clients through TCA. Um, but when it comes down to working with industry and inter internally in private industry, is that you as the CFO really are responsible for that company itself. You, you feel you feel actually a pretty single burden on the, for the company itself. The burden feels different. It's hard to explain though. And, and the burden feels different because you can see the internal workings of everything at the company. So when you work with a lot of private industry, like for example, True Terpenes, is that you start seeing a lot of the more human aspects of the business versus I would say the um, technical aspects. So you, you'll see people when they're having a bad day or you'll, you'll realize a lot more of, um, you know, like learn more about the marketing side of things and why they do certain things a certain way it, because that technically is not a core competency we have. So we don't usually see those things, but you get pulled into those items. So internally you see just a lot more of the business in general. And, and you might not have the expertise for it, um, but it's one where you learn to handle different situations in there. And that's that's the top part where you don't typically handle those items in a firm. Sure. Yeah. I think that's generally what it is, but it's, it's kind of hard to explain because typically uh, the honest truth is that if you are working close enough with a company at a firm as well, you will experience the exact same things. Like there's there's almost no difference when you work close enough with specific companies. Um, you will you will feel the same ups and downs. So I think depending on the companies, you can actually get more stressed out working from an outside firm because if you have enough um, of your, I guess, soul put into any of the companies you're working with, you're spread a lot thinner. And now you have all, every company makes you feel a, a certain way. Yeah, no, I, I can definitely relate to that. I mean, I think that the the work that we do at TCA now is um, a lot different than what I used to do in traditional public accounting in that regard, because we do engage so uh, and integrate so so um, deeply and intimately with our clients that um, yeah, I, I definitely feel some of those ups and downs. But I do, I, I would say, you know, having. Um, I've had contracts where I literally kind of sat in the client's office and served like a member of their team for mm -hmm. periods of time, anywhere from six months to a year at a time. in In my prior in my prior experience um, through public accounting firms, and then also kind of through some of the work with TCA and and I and I do too see the difference there between that and what I routinely do mm -hmm. um, a, a, as a consultant on the outside and. Um, yeah, I think there's there's ups and downs to it to both, and I think that there's I think that there's value from the client's perspective. There's different kinds of value you get from both too, because um, I think that the ob objectivity that I can bring to the table as more of an outsider sometimes is super helpful. Whereas when you're too emotionally invested um, in in everything that's going on and in the personalities of all of the the people in the company, that may kind of skew the the way a lot of us would advise mm -hmm. um, our fellow leaders in that company, um, just because of that uh, that that emotional investment in in the the narrative and the story of what's going on, mm -hmm. um, for sure. 